today we start the fourth unit. It is your uh, orchestration technology. So suppose if you are going for the satellite communication, satellite communication it involves the satellite and the orchestration. Combinedly we are telling the satellite communication. Okay. So suppose if you are considering the cost that is involved in it, the cost it includes the manufacturing cost of the satellite. It includes the launching cost of the satellite. It includes the it includes the orchestration cost. So either we need uh, some space uh, on the earth so that there we can control the earth, uh, we can control the satellite, and we can monitor its operation, and as per the requirement, we can do the little bit modification so that it can move in its own orbit as per the requirement. So here, if we are going for this artificial uh, technology, here what are the different subsystems that are there, different blocks that are there at the earth station. Okay. So if we are going for your earth station, you are having the five different uh, subsystem. You are having the antenna subsystem. You are having the transmit subsystem. You are having receive subsystem. You are having GCE. Subsystem and finally you are having the power subsystem. If you are going for your GCE, it is your ground control equipment. Now, say suppose if we are seeing the earth station, we are first focusing on the antenna. The antenna that we are using for the earth station, it is highly directional antenna. We, are, we prefer your parabolic detector. We use the same antenna for transmitting and receiving purpose. If we want to use the same antenna for both transmitting and receiving purpose, we need some type of electronic switch. So you are having the duplexer. Duplexer we can consider it as an electronic switch. What the duplexer will do? That duplexer will protect from some high radiation, if some high radiation signal is there, it will protect the transmitter from <coughs> high radiation. And when we are having the weak signal, it will pass the weak signal to the receiver subsystem. Okay. Whenever the weak signal is coming, it will ensure that the weak signal should not go to the transmitter. The weak signal, it will be in terms of your eco modes. Okay. It will be in terms of your echo words. Now, say suppose these both your antenna and your duplexer combinedly it is forming the antenna subsystem. If we are considering the transmitter section, so transmitter section it consists of these three blocks. It is starting from your GCE transmit, transmit subsystem duplexer and finally to antenna. Okay. So here what is happening? Here we are having the multiplexing. So many more signals are there. Those signals are combined. They are modulated and they are, they are uh, after modulation we are going for your high power amplification. We are amplifying it. Then we are passing it to the electronic switch and then the signal is transmitted to the antenna. So the signal that is transmitted from the antenna to the satellite that is called the uplink and for the uplink generally we are using the frequency around 4 gigahertz. So generally 4 gigahertz frequency we are using for uplink purpose. Now the signal is going to the satellite and after processing in the satellite we will have some received signal. The signal it is coming from the satellite back to the earth station. It is picked by the antenna. The signal that is coming from the satellite back to the earth station that is called your downlink. And there, generally we use the frequency around 6 gigahertz. For uplink, we are going for around 4 gigahertz. For downlink, we are going for around 6 gigahertz. So there, for uh, downlink purpose, we can go for your C band. We can use the C band. For downlink purpose, we 
can go for a C band and we can go for your K band. C band means uh, around 6 gigahertz and if you are using the K band, so it is around your 14 gigahertz. K means under K band. Okay. Now let's go for the receiving part. So if you are going for the receiving part, it is the corollary of your transmitting part. Okay. In the transmitting part, uh, we are modulating the signal. We are modulating the signal and we are going for multiplexing it. At your receiver subsection, sub we are having the reverse process. The signal is picked by the antenna. Again, it is going to duplexer. Duplexer as it is your electronic switch. Uh, and the signal that it is received, uh, it is very weak signal. It is in terms of your uh, pico watts. So that signal, this duplexer ensures that it should pass to your receiver subsystem only. It should not go back to your transmitter. That ensures uh, that it is taken care by your duplexer. Now that weak signal, here there is a need to amplify the weak signal. So for amplifying the weak signal, we are using low noise amplifier. Okay. In your receiver subsystem, you will have the low noise amplifier. As here we are going for the modulation, here we go for the demodulation. And after that, we are going for the demultiplexer. So we are having a multiple of signals. So multiple state of input signal we are having and we are having Single. one output signal. And this one output signal it is for one channel. If we are having a multiple of channels, then from your demultiplexer, you will have many more signals. Okay. So here you will need multiple of demultiplexer that will take care of each channel. Apart from this, you, you will need one separate subsystem. This is your power subsystem. This power subsystem, it will provide the continuous power for the operation at your orchestration. In your power subsystem, what we are having? We are giving the AC input. AC input we are giving and we have the DC output. And these DC output are given to all the subsystem. Now, in order to have the continuous power, apart from your regular AC input, we can also have your uh, diesel generator, we can have battery, we can have the inverter. So all these additional power sources we will have at the orchestration so that we can have continuous power supply to the different blocks. Okay. 